today we're looking at the creation of a drop down curb the curb side here has been damaged over the years you can see that the curb edging is no longer prominent it's been crushed down into the floor so it's virtually flat now uh, the tarmac has started to disintegrate so it's not in good shape at all it's actually turning to gravel in this section here really not in very good condition and then the paving slabs themselves are also damaged so you can see there's a few that are cracked it's all uneven it's not very flat we've got some trip hazards so all in all not in very good shape and when we compare it to the driveway which is in pristine condition and brand new it's really letting the look down it's spoiling the approach to curbside appeal so this needs to be sorted out it needs to be all of this needs to be dug out and replaced professionally because the problem we have here is that the your, your utilities that run underneath the paving slab so you've got gas water and electric supplies so this needs to be done by an approved contractor who the council are happy will do it in such a way that it's not going to cause any problems in the future just before we move on to the time lapse video showing the work that was done we thought we'd mention the process involved in applying for and paying for a drop down curb so initially you have to produce a drawing of your own front drive showing that you meet the rules so in this situation we had to be at least 4.8 meters from the house to the edge of the pavement and you have to include any obstructions so we had a street lamp so a lamp post that was on the edge of the drive so we had to include that and you're not allowed to have the drop down curb within closer than a meter so we had to set it one meter apart so you can see the drawing that we put together here just a sketch drawing by hand fairly shabby and then in response to that the council then provides you with an official drawing which is this one here and you can see that shows all the dimensions and what they're going to do and the work has to be done by their approved contractor and the logic behind that is because it's got utilities underneath the pavement so gas electric and water they're meant to be the experts and the only people who are allowed to do any work on it you'll see in the time lapse video in a minute how much expertise was put into the work that was done and just as a point of reference these things are super expensive so the quote that we had here that we had to pay was over £1,500. So have a look at the work yourself and make your own decision as to whether you think uh, that was a bargain or not. Okay, let's move on to the time lapse. So here are the contractors starting to set up, cordoning off the road, stopping people from parking and blocking their access. They then brought in a digger and the digger is basically to dig up all of the paving slabs and the edge of the curb. So the slabs are removed by hand then the digger comes in, does a bit more heavy duty work, removes all of the earth materials. The guys are tidying up, removing some of the slabs. Then the curbstones themselves came out. As you saw earlier, those curbstones were quite badly damaged anyway. And as we mentioned before, you can't have the drop down within one meter of the lamppost. So they had to prepare the area around the lamppost and reinserted new paving slabs to stop that section being driven over and the curb was actually kept at the full height alongside those four paving slabs you can see next to the lamppost. Then some more prep work, getting everything ready, putting down some uh, base materials. This is in advance of applying the tarmac that's going to go over the top. So quite a few guys standing around talking over the brushes, doing a bit of work, doing a bit of chatting, waiting. And so this all took around about two hours for this work to be done and it all started early in the day so the guys did have plenty of time to finish everything but uh, they then tidied everything up moved it all away and we thought that the tarmac would then be put on top but it was presumably done by a different group of guys so they left and we then waited for the tarmac guys to come back um, they came back and tidied up a little bit more and we waited for the tarmac to come and then inexplicably we then had to wait for three days so uh, for some reason we've kept the time lapse on but we've speeded it up quite significantly so you can see that uh, 
the weather was fine, it wasn't raining, there wasn't any reason that they couldn't put the tarmac down, but we just had to keep waiting. So you can see the neighbours watching the TV, then everybody's in bed, then it's morning again, sun's back out, everybody's going about their day. Oh, it's night time again, still waiting, waiting for the guys to come back to uh, put the tarmac in. So pretty tedious waiting around, couldn't use the drive all that time. And then the guys came back and the tarmac was applied super quick. Um, they left the barrier out for a while, stopped people driving over the brand new tarmac. So it's looking pretty black at this point. And then we waited and they waited for it to dry off and we waited for them to come back. And eventually they did return and remove those barriers. So here we have the finished drop down curb. You can see that uh, they have to set it one meter away from all the street furniture. So we've got a lamppost here. They've actually set it aside, which is why we've got these paving slabs next to the lamppost. And then the rest of it is just tarmac with a drop down curb. So you can see the curb itself. It's not entirely flat, but it's a lot lower. It's possible to drive over it, but it's not 100% flat. So this is the finished look that we've got. Brand new, hasn't been driven over yet. It's taken a little bit of time to do it, but a lot better now. and gives us access to the driveway itself, which is uh, all brand new, block paved, and looking very smart. So that's the drop down curb. We've been the Property Gurus. Thank you for watching. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already and we will see you again on the next video.